Hi everyone. So I've just come to share with you another journal that I've made. And this one is made using a kit from Artie Mays and it's called Iris, Iris Flower. Um, but I've also incorporated other things into it like butterflies and flowers, other, other flowers, uh, vintage ladies, that kind of thing. So um, it measures, uh, where's my bit of paper? So Traveller's Notebook size, eight and a quarter by four and a half. One signature, 68 pages front and back, and it's pretty chunky. Um, I've got a lot of things going on in here that I've done Let's Make on as well. So if you want to check out the Let's Make um, playlist, you'll see some of the things that I've been making. Uh, lots of stitching, and this will be listed for sale in my shop if you're interested. The link for that will be below. And here we go. So this is the pattern cardstock that I used. And again, it's been sewn onto um, coffee dyed cardstock. So it's like a double a double thickness. Then I've got a topper here and I made these tags. These tags will be, there will be a video for that tomorrow. That's scheduled to come on tomorrow. Uh, so you'll see how I made them. There's just some background ledger paper there. Uh, we have eyelets and string as a closure see if i can open this without it getting in a muddle Ta -da. there we go so as you can see it is quite chunky right so <clears throat> um i made these little pockets these were i cut these up to make tags with i'm just making sure i'm in frame because my camera's moved again uh made these little like pocket tags really quick and easy um haven't done a video on them but if anyone wants a video then just say yes and i'll do one so that's just paper clipped on that is from the kit from Artie Mays, the iris flower and here we just have i can't remember where that background paper came from but it's one of Artie Mays's, but i can't remember what, what kit it is um and then we've got some music paper there that you can't see a little ornate shape butterfly some vintage music paper the word believe and then a little tag that says little moments big memories and the back of the, the little pocket is just coffee dyed and that just goes on there like that so then here we have um a long corner pocket with um just some layering here a ticket butterfly cheesecloth and inside there we have a tag from Artie Mays and that's a freebie you can find that over on her Facebook page and also her website that's a card from the kit and they've all been backed onto coffee dot no just cardstock and I've inked up around the backs of them that's from Tsunami Rose We've got a doily, we have dictionary page, book page, uh, some uh, Italian music paper. These were the big jumbo paper clips that I made. I think I've done a video yesterday on them. So I added that. Then we have it's a, a vintage, it's a printable, but it's a vintage um, letter. And that goes on there. Yeah, I was trying to use up all these big jumbo um paper clips because i got many 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 of them <laughs> uh coffee dyed papers that's from the kits here we've just got a little corner pocket some vintage music paper butterfly cheesecloth we've got a tag from the kit i love these little i think they're called forget me nots they're really pretty uh postcard from the kit and a journal card that's not from the kit uh, I don't know where I got that from, but it was Etsy somewhere. Lots of journaling space. Uh, here we just got another pocket, vintage music paper, butterfly. These butterflies actually are um, vellum, and I stamped on them using stays on ink, and they did take a while to dry. Uh, so if you do um, stamp on vellum or like a acetate or anything like that, always use like stays on or something similar to that a permanent ink and let it dry don't touch it because i did touch one and it smeared and i messed it up so that's what that was some more uh that's some french ephemera from the old design shop that's actually a freebie on our blog here we've just got another journaling card with some crocheted trim got a little hang tag here 
that's from the kit so you can write on that you can loosen that up a little bit you could actually add some more papers underneath that so that's that and that goes in there I like to try and put things back properly <laughs> uh, a doily some more dictionary pages uh, book page some more uh, Italian music paper I made these I um, still got to pull away at some of that uh, here, there we go <laughs> that was just some journaling cards that I made I've got uh, again the, the video to that is uh, on my let's make and that was done earlier on today <clears throat> these are the tags that I made that you still got to see the video for sorry I forgot to pull this away it's because I left them to dry I like to just make it look a little bit tatty there we go so we have that one there they were fun to make and the center of the signature we have pockets from the kit inside each pocket we've got a tag from the kit a postcard from the kit and then another journaling card which isn't from the kit there we go and then in here we just have another tag again that's from the kit postcard from the kit and a journal card lots of journaling room a flip out pop up in a frame I've just looked and this keeps moving around <laughs> Uh, dictionary page, doily, another pocket, another vellum stamped butterfly, another hang tag, <coughs> oh, excuse me, another journaling card, and another piece of ephemera from the old design shop. And that goes in there. go another one of these journal cards they can all that postcards actually um could have put a little stamp up there come to think about it now that's a good thing is that when you make something and if you go back and um you do it again you can add to it and progress with it so it's a good little starting point so that's on there i did i think i did mention that in the video for these about you know one of the reasons i'm doing these let's make as well is because it reminds me of things that i have made and things that i can go back to and like i say you can make them and progress with them in the future another little pocket there a butterfly and some vintage music paper a tag from Artie Mays that's the freebie a postcard from that kit and a little journal card there another paper clip here oh, see if I can do this before it's taking it off <laughs> no yes uh, another vintage letter mm. find that on Pinterest so if you're looking for things like that Pinterest is a really good place um, and the, I mean if this is was a, an original letter it was 1938 it was written it could have been mocked up I don't know um, another uh, banner paper clip tutorial on that well it's not as so much tutorial it's just a let's make with me because they've been done a million times I'm just doing my take on them and another pocket with, um, I should have put my my cover down that I do because this is slipping around all over the place. Another journal card from the kit. Yeah, that will teach me. <laughs> um, some ephemera from Tsunami Rose. And sorry, I was just reading that. I got I got lost then, just having a look at the the um, the address and things. And that is from Tsunami Rose as well. Um, and Tsunami Rose at the moment is having. I think if you spend so much, you've got like um, there's a very good discount on there. So go over and check out Tsunami Rose. I think the the code and everything is on her. Um, a website well it's a website via Etsy can't remember what that's called now 
uh, is it patterned by Etsy? So anyway, it is linked below, uh, Tsunami Rose, so go and check that out as well. So that's my journal, I really enjoyed doing that. Um, I love them tags that I made and that was a really good topper as well. So like I said, this will be for sale on my shop if you're interested. If you have any questions, just ask and thanks for watching. Bye.